A day-long search for a Metro East man accused of shooting a cop ending, as you heard there, in a barrage of bullets. Tonight, Donald Freeze is dead from a shootout with police 125 miles from Granite City in Cape Girardeau, Missouri. I'm Corey Stark alongside Samantha Jones. Donald Freeze was a criminal before shooting that officer. In fact, he was a killer. But he was free to roam because of early release. But why would someone with such a record be set free? Well, that question not only pertains to Donald Freeze, but another man now accused of shooting an innocent girl in Alton just days ago. First Alert Force Russell Kinsall looks at what may have triggered the freedom. Mercedes Ferrari was only 18 when she died in a car crash. Her mother remembers her big personality. Mercedes was just, she was just light. She came in, she'd light up any room. You know, that sounds like real cliche, but she literally would. Before Granite City Police launched a manhunt to find the person who shot a police officer in an alley on Tuesday, the suspect was a convicted murderer who had been released from prison early. Donald Freeze was on early release, home confinement, and wearing an ankle monitor in 2013 when he rammed into the car that Ferrari was in, killing her. He was sentenced to 12 years in 2016, but only served seven and got out last year, only to commit more crimes. He should have had his three strikes and should have never been out on the streets to kill my daughter. And it wasn't an accident. He chased her down at 106 miles an hour while she was on the phone screaming and begging for her life. Questions are also being raised about one of two charged with shooting a 13-year-old girl Saturday in Alton. She's just enjoying time out, outdoors on the porch. And then this tragedy struck her. 19-year-old Alvin Perry and 19-year-old Rayshon Colvin are charged with attempted first-degree murder and other felonies. In October, Perry was arrested and charged with attempted armed robbery. The Madison County State's attorney argued he should not have been released, but he was. Perry was released without bail because of Illinois' new Safety Act law. The Safety Act was meant to make the criminal justice system more fair, including abolishing cash bail. So it's, you know, it's really... It's, tragic and it's really you know frustrating to know uh, that because of the safety act that this person was out you know was was not in custody and was out still committing crimes a vigil for that 13 year old and her family is scheduled to begin at six o'clock it'll be held in this open area back behind me i'm told that a member of that girl's family will be speaking first time we will hear from a member of that 13 year old girl's family mm -hmm. live in alton russell kinsall first alert for russell thank you nearly a week